hey, if you're looking for some things to do here in spring, maybe while you're visiting, or maybe you just moved here and you wanna know some new things that you can get at and do during the springtime, we've got you covered coming straight up. Okay, so spring kind of snuck up on me this year. I mean, one second it was snowing and the next minute it was 75 degrees and then it went back to snowing and <laughs> you know that funny meme where it's like the, the, the 11 different phases, right? Like of the spring to summer transition. We were on like winter three, we're on like spring four. Oh my gosh. And now the pollening is just about to happen. As you can tell, some of the leaves are starting to leaf out. Anyway, point is the first thing we have to talk about when you're talking about spring is that thing, it's the weather. So you never know what you're gonna get. It's that box of chocolates thing, right? So if you find yourself on a really awesome 75 degree day, we've got some really great items for you to be able to go out and take advantage of that. Other things, you might wanna grab a coat. It can be really cold and even snowing on you. First off, hiking. So the first thing that you might think about when you catch a nice, beautiful spring day is to go for a hike, okay? And there are all kinds of hiking options around here, but the first thing that you really have to consider is whether or not there's gonna be snow on the hike. So we've compiled a small list of hikes that we think are really great that are usually snow-free at this time of year. Pilot Butte. For a quick urban hike with a rewarding view, head to Pilot Butte in the very center of Bend. This extinct cinder cone volcano offers a panoramic view of the city and surrounding Cascade Mountains from its summit. The hike is moderate and can be completed in about an hour, making it a perfect choice for sunrise or sunsets. Smith Rock State Park. Now, Smith Rock is a world-renowned uh, rock climbing area that also has incredibly stunning hikes. The Misery Ridge Trail is an absolute must-do, which will yield you panoramic scenery of the entire area. It's fantastic, and it's not really that hard. And the best part is, is that it's got stunning views of the Crooked River, which also run through this rockscape. We'll talk more about Smith Rock when we get to the climbing section of this, but just know it is a fantastic place to go catch a hike. Tumalo Falls, just a short drive from Bend, Tumalo Falls offers an accessible yet stunning hike. The trailhead starts at the base of a spectacular 97 foot waterfall, then follow the trail upstream to encounter multiple smaller cascades, each offering a unique vantage point and photo opportunities. The hike is relatively easy, making it a perfect outing to bring the kids, bring the family, and have a really great time. Benham Falls, experience the raw power of the Deschutes at Benham Falls. The trail of the falls is easy, it's flat, ideal for all ages and skill levels. The path offers serene river views as you approach the falls, where it then falls down the rocky cascades and creates a really beautiful waterfall landscape. Next up, mountain biking. Something else that's a great thing to do this time of year is mountain biking, all right? There's a ton of people that love to mountain bike here in Central Oregon, and spring is a really great time. It's not too dry and dusty, it's obviously not frozen, and you know, sometimes it can be muddy, so you gotta pick your days accordingly. And unless, of course, that's your jam, unless, of course, you really love the mud. I mean, to each their own, some people only like to go mountain biking when it's super gnarly and nasty outside. And again, like if that's your thing, Awesome. Phil's Trail, which is actually just on the outskirts of Bend, is a local favorite. It's known for its extensive network of trails, and uh, you know, and it as it moves through the forest, it's just a beautiful site, great trails, an excellent place to check out if you're in town. The Deschutes River Trail is another great one that's just outside of Bend, and in some cases in Bend, but it offers obviously really picturesque views of the river. And it's also, you know, can be moderately technical in some areas. So it's great for kind of that moderate level rider. And of course, it comes with some beautiful views of the Deschutes River. Now, obviously, there are plenty of places to mountain bike here, so I'll just talk about two more. Horse Ridge, which is out east, is actually fantastic in the spring because like we mentioned, it's springtime and there's no snow over there and it's easy to get to. It also is great because it is a change up from the rest of the normal mountain biking because it's more of a desert scape, which again, has its own different feel, but it's awesome. Lastly, let's talk about Sisters and Peterson Ridge. Uh, they've got over 20 miles of trails out there for all different ability levels. And again, it's kind of a forested thing. It's awesome because you've got those incredible Sisters Mountains right there in your face. Spring skiing at Mount Bachelor strikes the perfect blend of winter's thrills and spring's warmth. The mountain is known for its excellent late season conditions, offers slopes that are delightfully soft, yet reliably crisp underfoot, with fewer crowds, shorter lift lines, 
feels like you've got the place to yourself. The vibe is unmistakably spring, laid back, sun drenched, making every run feel like a celebration. This is the time of year where you see people walking around town and they've got the raccoon eyes, man. <laughs> it's great. And as the days stretch longer, you can savor the slopes until sunset. Now, depending on the snowpack and the weather, again, spring skiing can be awesome. This year, we've got a great snowpack. Both the Mountain and the Nordic Center are gonna be open until the 26th this year, May 26th. In short, Mount Bachelor delivers not only great spring skiing, but a great overall experience. Now, my favorite thing to talk about here, the things to do in spring, is fishing. That's just my jam. Uh, there's something about being cooped up all winter long and getting into the outside, the outdoors, the sun on your back, throw a line in the water. It's meditative. And if you catch a really great day, ugh, then again, it's spring, so if you don't, it can be bad. Anyway, point is, notables on fishing in the spring definitely include lake fishing. The water's cold, the fish are hungry, and sometimes it can just be lights out. I mean, Wikia, Crane Prairie, even Lava Lakes, those are great. Then of course you can always go up to East Lake when that road opens, and Polina Lake. Now again, weather dependent, I used to be pretty hardcore. I would go in any time of, any time of year, but a few spring snowstorms, I've been snowed on in June out here, and it's not so much fun. So now I'm really more of a fair weather fisherman, if you know what I mean. Rivers are also really great this time of year. Rivers are kind of my favorite. I prefer rivers over lakes, so you've got the Deschutes, you've got the Metolius. This time of year, or really more in May, you've got the Salmon Fly Hatch, you've got the Green Drake Hatch. I mean, that's a little high level talk, but just point is, river fishing, spring fishing, lake fishing, it's great. Rock climbing at Smith Rock. Now, even though I'm not a hardcore rock climber myself, I did some back in college, just going to Smith Rock is awe-inspiring. Did you know that Smith Rock has over 1,500 routes? It's absurd. From stuff for beginners to some of the most globally challenging routes in the world. And in spring, it's absolutely perfect. With mild weather and the park less crowded, it gives you the best experience of the great outdoors. And the park also isn't just for rock climbers, as we've already mentioned earlier in the video. There are some fantastic hikes around here as well. It offers incredible hiking trails and views that'll take your breath away. But the climbing scene here is vibrant, with routes like Monkey Face and Zion offering some seriously epic ascents. Watching climbers scale these massive rock formations against the backdrop of stunning landscapes, it's clear why Smith Rock is considered the birthplace of American sport climbing. So if you're into adventure or just the great outdoors, Smith Rock is a perfect spring place to go check out. All right, so I've got a question for you. What did we miss? What are some of your favorite springtime activities? And you're not allowed to say yard work, okay? Ugh. Gardening, yes, okay, but yard work, no, we're not gonna do yard work. Everybody knows we've got a bunch to do already, okay? No, I wanna know what kind of springtime activities that we're not talking about that you wanna know more about so we can make another video for you. Also, this is probably the point of the video where I should tell you that, look, if you're thinking about buying or selling here in the area, my team and I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. We represent buyers and sellers all over Central Oregon and we would love to work with you. Feel free to reach out. You can go to cromrealestate.com or you can probably stock us down in the description and get our direct contact. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you over the next video. Cheers.